For PM na! For PM na! Halina't tumutok na dito Mga aktibidad ating saksihan Sa bawat lokal at distrito Buklod Kadiwa rin eh At pagsamban ng kabataan Ligayang hatid ang pagkasigla At pagkalasungan at kamanahan Tignan ang orasan Habang tayo'y nasa ating tahanan Ishare mo na rin ang panuori Ng iyong kakilala at kaibigan At kung nasan ka man Palagi mong tatandaan Bago matapos ang ating maghapon Ay panuori tuwing alas 4 ng hapon YouTube at Facebook pwede rin doon Mapapanood ang gawain ng kapisanan ngayon Sa bawat lugar at bawat nasyon Updated tayo palagi Sa tagumpay ng iglesia ngayon At makakatulong din to sa atin Sa pag-aakay at sa pagmimisyon Tignan ang orasan Habang tayo na sa ating tahanan I-share mo na rin ang panuori Ng iyong kakilala at kaibigan At kung nasan ka man, palagi mong tatandaan Bago matapos ang ating maghapon Ay panuori tuwing alas 4 ng hapon Or PM na CFO News na CFO News na 4PM na CFO News na CFO News na Oo, na-share ko na 4PM na CFO News 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 na Good afternoon. This Tuesday will give you the activities that members of the Christian family organizations participated in. I'm Sister Ella Ronquillo and this is CFO News. Let's see what the districts have been up to. Awareness on autism was discussed through a seminar in the District of New York. Binhi members find creative means to stay connected through a creative seminar in the District of Southeast California. Kariwa members show their love and concern for their fellow men in a giving activity held in Paniki, Tarlac. Students in Pampanga West manage their time efficiently by means of a DIY study planner. More stories of hope when CFO News returns. Welcome back. For CFO News Abroad, 
Minhi members learn important and new information in their recent awareness seminar on autism held in the District of New York. Sister Mika Jamawas tells us more. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, one in 54 children in the United States are diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. Knowing this, a Binhi Autism Awareness Seminar was held in the Ecclesiastical District of New York, led by brethren who have experience working with children with special needs Youth members were given an opportunity to learn about the different domains of autism. I learned how to understand our fellow men with autism, how to help someone with autism, and even some facts about autism. Even though people with autism have a disability that affects their communication with others, they are still very talented. The youth members were also able to hear the experience of a parent, Brother Desmond Anderson, who has a son with autism. My eight-year-old son is on the autism spectrum. It's so important that we are aware of uh, autism and, and what that means. Um, so many people are affected by it. Something like one in 68 are diagnosed. Uh, we all most likely know someone on the autism spectrum. The, the seminar um, had a lot of good information there. Um, as a result of the, the seminar, I would uh, think that, that most of the, the bin he were, who were in attendance would have a, a fairly wide ranging knowledge of what it means to be on the autism spectrum and um, how someone on the autism spectrum should and deserves to be treated. It's important to be aware about autism so that we can better understand how our fellow men with autism can uh, deal with their surroundings, understanding their situation, and we can better understand how to help our fellow men with autism. Our fellow men with autism can benefit from us being aware because um, they can feel our love and uh, we'll, we'll be able to uh, strengthen our bond of the brotherhood. Through this activity, Brethren gained a wider perspective of autism spectrum disorder. Having awareness that some of the Brethren may have autism, youth members were also reminded about the importance of having patience and kindness. With such qualities, members of the Iglesia de Cristo show compassion to those in need and continue to be united in all endeavors. From the Ecclesiastical District of New York, I'm Sister Mika Jamawas, reporting for the Iglesia de Cristo News Network. Binhi members get creative in finding ways to maintain their strong bond with their fellow Binhi members in the District of Southeast California. Here's the report. Officers of the Christian Family Organization in the District of Southeast California hosted the Binhi Creative Seminar with the main goal to inspire the youth to have a growth mindset and to encourage them to find creative ways to strengthen and share their faith. The Binhi can use their creativity in their daily life as well as their education. Creativity can improve their attention span, productivity, our brain function, which will greatly increase our obligations in our education. Um, for example, some brethren even take notes during a lecture that they have th throughout their class. And um, sometimes they even draw to, they draw what the lecture is about. And this all the more um, boosts their brain function as well as how they perform throughout their lecture. The activity discussed creative interpretations of media, life hacks, and pixel art. Through these topics, attendees increased their positive thinking skills and strategies to cope with today's challenges. Ultimately, with this growth mindset coupled in their faith, the youth developed a better understanding of the importance of personal and spiritual growth. They were guided in looking forward and including God in all their plans for their future. By using these creative skills, we can use these in our daily life as well as our faith. Thinking creatively and open-minded, all the more improve our health and our spiritual minds and bodies. For example, um, sharing our faith and thinking creative will all the more encourage us to share faith to those who don't know his truth about. And thinking creatively will all the more help us in our church obligations, such as thinking of many of the many activities that we have planned throughout our district and this all the more helps us in our spiritual bodies. 
With their newly gained knowledge of effective and creative strategies in enhancing their way and view of life to maintain a positive mentality, all those in attendance were equipped with the tools to use in overcoming challenges and continuously thrive in the spiritual growth. Even though the world is constantly changing day by day, members of the Church of Christ are confident in their ability to respond optimistically to any situation. From San Diego, California, I'm Sister Lana D for the Iglesini Christo News Network. Brethren in the district of Malaysia felt fulfilled and enjoyed their recent short filmmaking activity for INC Vision. Let's see how it turned out from Sister Gazel Joy Ragat's report. With utmost submission and obedience to the church administration, members of the Church of Christ from the district of Malaysia held a get-together and short film competition through video conferencing. One of the purpose of this activity is to hone the knowledge and skills of the brethren towards filmmaking, script writing, acting, and editing. Together with their family, brethren enjoyed the short film showing and awarding ceremony. Part of the program of the activities was the awards of recognition to all the production team of short films that further strengthened and sparked their activeness of the brethren. I was amazed and proud on our brethren as they could create th their films in a short time and even in this pandemic. As for the brethren who took part in the short filmmaking, it was such a great blessing to be part of this event. Not only did the activity cultivate their talents and skills in filmmaking, but most importantly, they were able to express and share their faith, love and hope, and strong conviction as members of the Church of Christ to all the audience. We set regular meetings among CFO officers to plan all the things that we need for the activity. And of course, we always pray to our Lord God to always ask for His guidance in the success of our activity. Church members took this opportunity to share their faith and excitement with their loved ones and friends. Moreover, we also want our son, Hans, to be with us in participating church activities as he grows up because we believe this is one of an effective instrument to instill to him the Christian values as well. I feel very, very happy po, blessed, proud, and overwhelmed po. Taos puso po ko nagpapasalamat sa Ama dahil po sa lahat po ng mga biyay pinagkakaloob po niya sa akin. The event was filled with spirit of brotherhood and as the activity concluded, everyone exited the video conferencing with more than just a trophy or recognition but with a joyful heart that continuously giving praises and glory to our Almighty God. From the District of Malaysia, I am Sister Gazel Joy Ragat for Iglesia Ni Cristo News Network. Members of the Binhi organization had fun while keeping themselves fit in a virtual exercise activity held in the district of Thailand. More details from Sister Bea Bianca Manalo. Staying fit and healthy has become a very important aspect in living in the world's current situation. This is the reason why the church administration launched different activities to encourage members of the Church of Christ to always take care of their physical health through the different Christian family organizations. In relation to this, a CFO physical activity was recently held at the District of Thailand by the Binhi members to which they eagerly participated online from their respective homes. Aside from benefiting physically, they also had fun and enjoyed the said activity while strengthening the bond amongst each other. We had so much fun joining this kind of activity, even though most of us are situated in our homes because of restrictions. I'm glad we had this kind of activity. It was fun meeting online other Binhi members in our district. We feel healthier and stronger after the exercises. This activity gives us a healthier break from our busy schoolworks. We would like to thank Brother Eduardo V. Manalo for allowing us to have this activity. Thank, thank you, you Paul. The young members also thank the church administration for always reaching out to them through these activities, even in the midst of very challenging times. From Thailand, I am Sister Bea Bianca Manalo for the Iglesia Ni Cristo News Network. 
CFO News will be back with the local events. Nagbabalik po ang CFO News. Nilingap ng mga nasa kapisan ng kadiwa ang mga nasa proseso ng pag-anib sa Iglesia ni Cristo sa isinigawang kadiwa giving sa distrito ng Paniquitarlac. Ang detalye mula kay kapatid na Angelica Andres. Sinasampalatayanan ng mga kapatid sa Iglesia ni Kristo na ang pagtulong sa kapwa, kaanib man o hindi sa Iglesia, ay isa sa mga utos ng ating Panginoong Diyos na nakapagbibigay lugod sa Kanya. Kaya naman, sinikap ng mga kapatid sa kapisanang kadiwa sa lokal ng Kalayaan, distrito ng Panikitarlak, na mag-abot ng lingap sa mga kapatid na nasa proseso ng pag-anib sa Iglesia. Ang pagtulong sa kapwa, lalo na ngayon na laganap ang kahirapan, kagutom at iba't ibang mga suliranin, idagdag pa ang pandemya, ay higit na nagpapakita na ang diwa ng pagtutulungan ay hindi nawawala sapagkat kinikilala ng mga kaanib sa iglesia na tungkulin sa kapwa ang pagpapakita ng pag-ibig at malasakit at higit sa lahat nakapagbibigay lugod sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Mula po dito sa Panikitarlak, ako po si kapatid na Angelica Andres para sa Iglesia ni Cristo News Network. Upang matulungan ang mga mag-aaral na kabilang sa Christian Brotherhood International o CBI, isang do-it-yourself o DIY study planner activity ang kanilang isinagawa sa distrito ng Pampanga West. Ang kabuang detalye mula kay kapatid na Jennifer Buyao. Napakahalaga na magkaroon ng time management sa mga gawain sa tahanan, trabaho at maging sa pag-aaral. Kaya ang mga nasa kapisa ng Christian Brotherhood International ay nagsagawa ng aktibidad na CBI DIY Study Planner. Naglalayon po ang aktibidad na ito upang matulungan po ang bawat mag-aaral na maging organisado at produktibo sa kanilang pag-aaral. Nakakatulong din po ito para mamanage po ang kanilang oras at maiwasan po ang procrastination. Kanilang idinisenyo ang mga study planner batay sa kung ano ang babagay at magpapaganda rito. Mayroong gumamit ng mga colored papers at mga recyclable materials tulad ng kay kapatid na Vivian. Ito po ang aking ginawang study planner. Gumamit po ako ng karton at binalutan ito ng construction paper at dinisenyohan. Sa loob ng study planner ay nilagyan ko po ng class schedule upang hindi ko po makaligtaan ang oras ng aking klase. Naglagay din po ako ng daily task upang malaman ko po ang mga kailangan kong gawin sa araw-araw. Pwede rin po itong lagyan ng weekly planner at ng calendar upang mas maging organisado po tayo sa ating pag-aaral. Pangako po namin sa tagapamahalang pangkalahatan, ang kapatid na Eduardo V. Manalo, patuloy po kaming makikipagkaisa sa mga aktibidad na inilulunsad sa iglesia. Salamat po ng marami sa malasakit po ninyo sa amin. Mahal na mahal po namin kayo. Mula po rito sa Lubaw, Pampanga, ako po si kapatid na Jennifer Buyao para sa Iglesia ni Cristo News Network. Panoorin natin ang natutuhan ng mga kapatid sa isinagawang sign language seminar sa distrito ng Batak City, Ilocos Norte sa pangunguna ng Christian Society for the Deaf. 
May report si kapatid na Chloe Castro. Upang makatulong sa layunin ng pamamahala na mapangalagaan at mapatibay ang mga kapatid na deaf, ay nagsagawa ang Christian Society for the Deaf sa distrito ng Batak City, Ilocos Norte ng CSD Cares at Sign Language Tutorial. Sa unang bahagi ng aktibidad na ito ay nagsagawa muna ng basic sign language seminar na naglalayon na maturuan ang iba pang mga kapatid na matutunan ang sign language na magagamit sa pakikipag-usap sa mga deaf, kapatid man o hindi. Sa mga ganitong aktibidad na ipadarama natin sa mga kapatid nating deaf na sila ay hindi naiiba sa atin sa paraang ito na ipapakita nila ang kanilang kakayahan sa kabila ng kanilang Kalagayan. At sa mga kapatid at may tungkulin, nakatutulong ito upang matuto sila sa pag pakikipagkomunikasyon sa mga deaf at mga kakilalang deaf. Tinuruan din ang mga kapatid na deaf at ang iba pang mga kapatid ng do-it-yourself o DIY face mask na kanilang magiging libangan habang nasa loob ng kanilang mga tahanan at magiging proteksyon na rin habang nasa panahon ng pandemya. Pagkatapos ay tinanggap ng mga kapatid na deaf ang lingap na mula sa pamamahala. Maraming maraming salamat po sa ating kapatid na Eduardo V. Manalo, pati na rin sa ating kapatid na Angelo Eranio Manalo dahil damang-dama po namin ang inyong pagmamahal at pagmamalasakit, lalo na po sa aming samahayan na may anak na deaf. Ang aktibidad na ito ay matagumpay na naisagawa sa pamuruna ng mga may tungkulin sa Christian Society for the Deaf at sa pagsubaybay ng kapatid na Dennis Brojas, katiwala ng mga kapisa ng pansambahayan. Lubos ang pasasalamat ng mga kapatid sa distrito ng Batak City, Ilocos Norte, sa kapatid na Eduardo V. Manalo, ang ating tagapamahalang pangkalahatan, at sa kapatid na Angelo Eranio V. Manalo, ang tagapag-ugnay ng mga kapisa ng pansambahayan sa kanilang pagmamalasakit sa mga kapatid na deaf na lalong nakakapagpatibay sa kanilang pag-asa at pananampalataya sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Pangako ng mga kapatid na patuloy sila na masiglang makikipagkaisa sa mga aktibidad na inilulunsad ng pamamahala ng iglesia. Mula po rito sa distrito ng Batak City, Ilocos Norte, ako po ang kapatid na Chloe Castro para sa Iglesia ni Cristo News Network. Nabigyang pagkakataon ang mga kapatid na ikonsulta ang kanilang mga kalagayan sa isinagawang online health seminar and consultation sa distrito ng Santa Cruz, Laguna. Magbabalita si kapatid na Catherine Urtula. Sa pangunguna ng Christian Medical Dental and Paramedical Society, isinagawa ang isang online health seminar and consultation dito sa distrito ng Santa Cruz, Laguna. Natalakay ko kung anong pangunahing lunas doon sa mga problema nila sa kalusugan sa lahat ng mga dumalo. Hindi na taas. Pero sa akin, napakahalaga ng participation ng mga doktor, yung kapisanan ng mga nasa medisina. Ay sana ito'y maging pakinabang. Alam naman natin ang, ang paggagamot ngayon, ang kalusugan, ang problema sa kalusugan, malaking halaga. Mas, mas ma malaga ang prevention kaysa cure. Yun ang napakahalaga sa katulad naming mga magagamot. Bukod sa kaalamang pangkalusugan na kanilang natutunan, nagkaroon din ng pagkakataon ng mga kapatid na kumonsulta sa mga kapatid na manggagamot upang matugunan ang kanilang mga pangangailangang medikal. Alam ko na na may mga dapat baguhin sa pagkain, kung ano mga bawal, kung ano mga hindi dapat. At maganda rin naman po para sa akin na, na natugunan ni Kan, Dr. Anita, yung mga gamot na dapat ko pangang ituloy o hindi na. Gusto ko po sana, hanggang ngayon sana, gusto ko pa po kung tumupad, kaso hindi na po talaga kaya na aking kalagayan ko sa ngayon. Kaya pinapangako ko na lamang po na masisiglain pa namin, total naman po, binibigyan kami ng kalakasan at kasiglahan, lalo tigit sa oras at araw ng pagsamba. Yun lang po. Ang aktividad po ay isa sa mga isinagawang aktividad bilang pagbunita sa ikalawang anibersaryo ng kapisanang CMDPS. Masaya po ang mga miyembro ng kapisanan dahil ang kanilang profesyon na kinikilalang mula din sa ating Panginoong Diyos ay nagagamit nila para makatulong po sa mga kapatid. At sa ganitong paraan din ay nakatutulong din sila sa pamamahala sa pagmamalasakit po sa mga kapatid sa Iglesia. Mula po rito sa bayan ng Santa Cruz, Laguna, 
Ako po si kapatid na Catherine Ortula para sa Iglesia ni Cristo News Network. Saksihan pa po natin sa mga susunod na araw ang iba pang mga aktibidad pang kasiglahan ng mga kapisanang pansambahayan. Manood lamang po tuwing alas 4 ng hapon dito sa INC TV. Masusubaybayan din ang programang ito sa INC Radio DZM 954. Abangan ang Iglesia ni Christian News live mamayang alas 6 ng gabi. Ako po si kapatid na Ella Ronquillo at ito ang CFO News. Magandang hapon po. Yeah.